Hello. <clears throat> hey, hey. <clears throat> how are you doing? Hope all is well. Just wait and see if anyone joins me. Um, it's gorgeous to be in this space. So welcome, welcome. Oh, gorgeous. I can see I'm not talking to myself. This is always good. Uh, if you want to say hello, that's gorgeous. Or if not, that's gorgeous. Sending love. How are you all? Ah, so the 2nd of the 2nd, 2022, ah, it certainly feels like a powerful day. I've been a bit headachey all day actually, so it's really like light energy, it's not heavy, but just, you know, it just feels intense. I don't know how you've been, of course there's been a lot going on, new moons, the lunar new year, the tiger energy that we're in. Um, sorry, just chucking my cards everywhere. Um, ah, what else? What else is happening in, in bulk? So that's mainly why I am coming in today to just really celebrate and honour that time that we're in of stirrings of new life. So it's the kind of that sense of possibility uh, of of emergence after the hiding uh, the, the kind of going within in the winter and um, if you if you're able to take a moment to just you know be out out in nature out in the earth and just feel the earth underneath your feet and just feel like all that you know all those seeds beginning to emerge um, and this is where we are. This is where we are at. So just this beautiful, beautiful light energy. Uh, the card for the week uh, that I do in my Magical Monday was purification. And often that can feel like I'm like, oh, really? Uh, but it just felt so light. It felt like fresh running water. And the energy of water is coming in a lot. And there's so much more information coming through about the water. And... What, um, what I was showing when I went on a little journey not so long ago in January to Atlantis, like you do. Um, uh, what I was showing, you know, when we're growing seeds, we, we, we uh, you know, we have the soil, we prepare the soil and we want rich, nice soil. And then we need a light and we need water. And so what they showed me was what was happening when the sunlight hits the water it's like it creates a third, uh, you know, um, what's the word? It, it transforms into, say, it creates, the, it, create, it creates life. So if you think of uh, two, you know, egg and sperm coming together, and then that fusion creates life. So it's this three, it's like creating the divine child, this three. So sunlight, water coming together, and this life bursting through. Um, and when I'm, uh, when I've been working with with the with the with the babies, obviously, and in some client sessions, um, I've been taking. You know, there's there's lots of mermaid energy, there's lots of whale energy and dolphin energy, um, and just go with me on this. This might not, this may or may not be for you. It's my world, that's fine. And what I what I what I feel is that they are calling in the babies. So they're very much part of this new earth energy. This um, birthing of new souls, birthing of new ideas, birthing of new creations, uh, a new way of being in the world, you know, so the patriarchal structures kind of being shown up for what they are, and more balance coming into the world. And um, I was just, I was kind of getting this impression that, you know, that all of the sea creatures and sea energy <clears throat> was really helping to call the babies in. Um, and what I was shown in this journey, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, was the energy of the water kind of contains our soul 
essence. So I'm just going in with this big information, take it or leave it, uh, but it wants to come through, so I'm just gonna share it. Um, and uh, the water, you know, it's been the same water on this planet since since the beginning of time. Uh, it's just being recycled in various different ways. As we are recycled, you know, one minute it's a raindrop, the next minute it's a drop in the ocean, becomes the ocean. The next minute it's a, you know, it's a puddle or it's a, it's a, you know, ice. It's just this transformation, all this transformation. It doesn't go anywhere, it just reforms um, and travels about the world. And the soul energy, so what I was shown is that our soul essence, our soul memory, uh, is also held in the waters around the earth. And it's the call of the water, the seas, the oceans, that is calling the souls in, calling us in, calling your babies in if you are in conception. So just really, um, uh, Spirit really wanted me to share that the importance of water and um, you know, taking a moment to feel gratitude for the water and how you feel when you're near the water uh, and just know it's kind of, you know, it's your soul uh, energy that you're re-uniting um, with. So uh, I'll just share that straight off. Let's jump in right, right with the big messages. Um, hello. Oh, hi. I'm so glad you're with us, Anna. Gorgeous. Faz. Hello, hello. Apana. Neve. Hello. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, okay, so that's just um, a bit of insight that's been coming through about water, and I feel that they really wanted uh, me to share that information with you around water and how um, we know it's precious, we can't live without it, but what's going on even deeper than the obvious of why we need to um, look after our water, our internal waters, what we drink, the seas, all of that. So really, you know, just, just, uh, yeah, being aware of the water as you're, as you're kind of holding your soul essence and your soul memories. Um, and also that of your babies and babies yet to arrive and the water is kind of key, like calling them in. So, um, okay, so that's just one message coming through. So uh, before we go into the meditation, I'll just share uh, messages like that because when after the meditation, you can just doze off. You can, you know, do do whatever you feel. We want to be in a nice, relaxed state. I don't want you to uh, have to come back into your head to listen listen to anything I you know that I'm going to say. Um, so what's happening? So tomorrow I have my evening with Spirit Baby. It's full tomorrow. Uh, but if anyone is interested um, in joining, then I'm, you know, always, always happy to put on another evening, um, whatever that might be. So just message if you're interested and then, and then a, a date will come. Um, every, um, the first Monday of every month, I'm now going to be coming live with message from Spirit Baby. So I'm going to be channeling a message each month, which will go up on YouTube. Um, but I feel much uh, easier doing like a Facebook live than I do making videos. Somehow it feels more kind of like, uh, you know, connection, um, especially if anyone joins live. So I'm going to do the, do that video in here, share the message and what the ba the spirit baby realm wishes to share with you that month and then post it on YouTube. Uh, so you can watch it live or you can watch it on the replay. So look out for that. That will be the first Monday in the month. Um, what the, the babies have a lot to say right now, like they really want to be heard, they really want to be seen, they have so much to share about what is going on in this world and how they're seeing things and so there's some really big uh, messages coming through through from them so I just wanted to be able to share them and, and honour what they're saying um, uh, for, you know, for you to uh, take or leave uh, depending on where you're at with it um so the biggest message from them at uh certainly for january and i'll share february's message next on monday is overall stay in your own lane stay in your own lane the narratives are really pulling us out and what rose said my spirit baby 
Rosa said is that it's staying in the narrative whether you know you probably know what I'm talking about whether you have a particular medical intervention or not um, it's staying in the narrative that is creating more harm it's the narrative itself that's creating the most harm creating fear creating doubt creating do I don't I should I shouldn't I um, and it's like feeding into your own truth coming out of all the narratives what is my body saying what do I need and staying in your own lane the other narrative she was sharing about was one climate change population growth the other one, there's not enough population there. Elon Musk was talking about synthetic booms and creating humans even quicker than nine months. I mean, it's just mind blowing and and really like not on. Um, in Scotland, there, unless you're vaccinated, you're not allowed to have fertility treatment. So there's kind of a lot of crazy stuff happening. Um, and this is where we're all being pulled and it's just being pulled. It's just being pulling us out and keeping us in that low vibration. And that's not where we need to be. What they've said is if you are feeling like you wanna get pregnant, if you're feeling the call to have a baby, have a baby. Because what's under, what what's really under, underneath all of those is this idea that, oh, I can't, I, should I have a baby in this time? One, it's really uncertain about what's happening. Two, what about population control? You know, uh, I, I don't want to create even more. On the other hand, you're under pressure because the population is, they're saying it's, it's less. And therefore, if you don't, then you're also irresponsible. I mean, it's just this, it's all around women and, and women want to create balance. They want to do the right thing. For the community and this is the energy that's coming through this mother god energy that's rising up now which is what we're going through and you know they're just trying to distract and pull and create disharmony and conflict and division um and so you know what rosa and the spirit baby is saying stay in your own lane like stay with you stay with them stay with your babies stay with you do what's right for you it's got nothing to do with, your baby's got nothing to do with climate change, your baby's got nothing to do with, you have got nothing to do with it. And it's just this tapping into this women's um, desire to do the right thing for the collective. And it's, you know, it's, it's uh, yeah, I would say it's wicked actually. So we wanna stay out of the narratives, uh, listen to yourself, whatever is true for you, it's got no, no one else's business, just yours and your baby is with you on that journey. So stay in your own lane is the main message um, from them. Um, and I will actually be running a, a hope, open open evening, open discussion around that, um, like a free evening. I'm just trying to come up with a date, but I think it might be the 10th of February. So anyone who wants to join, I'm just gonna put the Zoom link in and I'll only share it in this group in my newsletter because obviously, um, uh, you know, there's discussions that people don't don't want us to have or there's discussions that people don't want to have it's just very open it's not about your choice it's about the fear that's created around choice and so what the evening is intended to do is whatever your choice is to know you have a choice and release any fears about any choices you may or may not have made or may or may not make it makes no difference it's you so we're so i'm going to be just holding that open discussion so we can really hear where, where each other are where each other is where each other is on that particular journey uh because there's an awful lot of fear around it and the babies are not feeling any fear but they're seeing the fear and um they've asked me to help uh you lift that fear and really come to a sense of truth and of your own self okay so that's their messages um that they wanted to, to pass on um so spirit baby evenings yes this is full tomorrow but i'm i'm more than happy to run them i love them they're beautiful spaces where we have meditation and then i channel messages for each of each of you who attend i aim to keep it to six minimum we've got eight tomorrow so we're, you know there's um will be a new another date coming up for that um and just being in your own you know there's there's there is this call there's this real call and this year feels like such a, a like a, an amazing year an amazing year to create an amazing year and especially if you're in in conception energy um 
to really birth or if you're birthing your business birthing ideas birthing anything you know this is your year it's this tiger year this divine feminine year this year to roar and have your voice heard um so obviously i'm here for one-to-ones um and yes it's filling up fast uh, my space is filling up fast so if you were thinking about working with me one-to-one -one, um and feel that kind of draw uh like oh yes it's now then then please do get in touch um okay what else was i gonna share i think that was it i think that's it for the messages um and what the babies were wishing to share with their messages, what I'm here to offer. Uh, if you feel uh, you like some support or just have a chat, I'm always happy to, of course, chat with you all. So that's, um, yeah, I just love that. So I've pulled two cards or two cards flew out just before I came on. Uh, from the this beautiful pack, Soulful Woman, and I was just wondering, what's the cards for this evening, or what's the message for you all, kind of heading heading into February? And this first one, look how beautiful that is. Feminine Law of Attraction. And again, just seeing this light, and I know this is light in all, attracting all good. Um, and one of my new mantras to sh that I've been sharing and share with you, I don't chase, I attract. All the good that belongs to me finds me now with ease. Yes. Okay, so we're not in the chasing, trying, pushing. We're in the, in the attracting, magnetizing. You're being in the vibration of, of what you would love or what your heart's desires and attracting that vibration and therefore those experiences to you. So I love that that card flew out. And to me, this is just the light around the womb that we are gonna feel this evening in the meditation, I feel. So absolutely beautiful card. And just look, it's just such a sense of peace. Um, and uh, like, you know, just that awe feeling actually. Um, I love the creative adventure that is my life. I celebrate myself as a female creator. And this is what the babies really, really want you all to know, whether you're in conception or creating anything in your life, your home, your relationships, anything. Uh, you are a creator. And, and often we've, you know, that's been held held down like you're not worth it or don't deserve it or if you have it someone else can't have it you know all of this all of these patterns so we're really putting all of that into the pot tonight so you can begin to feel even more sure of yourself as a creator yeah you're in the driving seat one of the ladies in my group we were talking about leadership and we were like that feels off you know that it's like teaching it feels off there's so much in words that feel off these days you know there's not the pure form of them and she said i know what it feels better lead her ship or lead his ship so we are all leading our own ships and magnetizing all the good that belongs to us okay so beautiful card and the other card of course inner wakefulness So I'm loving this fire energy here because uh, Goddess Bridget, who's who's um, <laughs> coming in, I'm starting to feel her energy coming in, is fire. She's the goddess of fire. She's the goddess of the hearth, of the home, um, of the womb, of fertility, uh, and so much more. She's like this amazing. So I love that we have this fire energy coming in with this card as well. Um, I am completely awake and tuned into my truth, clarity and inner wisdom. Uh, so that's really what I've been saying or what the, I'm sharing from what the babies are wishing for, wishing to see how, you know, where you are, what, how you feel about yourself, that you feel your truth. Um, you know where those blocks are or those patterns are that you feel the vibration of what you want, the frequency of what you wish to attract, that you have clarity and inner wisdom and unlocking that inner wisdom, which is the fire in your womb. 
Okay, so two beautiful cards to start us off. All right, so I'll just see if there's any messages and then I will settle down into our lovely med meditation. Okay, so oh, Elizabeth joined Claire, so lovely to see you. Thank you, Baz, for clarity. Stay in your own lane. Yeah, really, really, really key. I cannot, I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, you know, it was a big message that came through around everything that's going on in this world. Um, and that underneath it all, it was that, you know, that's what, you know, ignore, like, don't ignore it, but don't get sucked into it. Don't get sucked into those narratives. You are creating your own story. Um, okay, so gorgeous. All right, everybody, we are going to go into a beautiful meditation time. Right, just seeing all my little tools around me. I just want to show you this uh, beautiful angel. See with her blooming belly. And I always say anyone who works with me uh, long term or in my groups or when their babies arrive, I my friend Bernie paints them uh, uniquely for each woman. Um, and I've sent out a lot of these and I'd love to send out more. So in whichever way I can help you, um, you know, energy of those angels are already there. And I'd love, you know, I, yeah, we just had another little arrival yesterday. So, um, uh, love to all of you who are expecting right now, who have welcomed their babies into the world, who are waiting to welcome their babies in the world and who welcome their babies and their babies weren't able to stay this time around, but they will be with you and they will have messages for you. So wherever you are, honour your unique personal journey, knowing you are not alone. You have, you are in this dance with your baby. So many bigger things, you know, so many, uh, so much going on around that uh, for you to discover and heal and understand. Um, and each and every one of us holding and respecting, honoring and loving each other for wherever we are. All right, so. Um, I'm also feeling the energy of Mother Mary, so I've got my lovely water from Nock. There's uh, red jasper, This and this, this guy always comes in when I feel that there's some ancestral healing going on, so that's what I was feeling as well for this evening. And all the other, all the other bits, but really they're tools. You are the tool. You are the tool. We have all these tools, cards, blah, blah, blah. You are the tool. You are tuning into your intuition, into your gifts. Um, there's nothing to learn, it's all to remember. Okay, all right, it's gorgeous you're with me and gorgeous if you're watching the replay too. So, just settling down into the energy. <sighs> Taking your beautiful deep breath in and breathing your eyes closed. and knowing we are beautifully surrounded in a pyramid of diamond light. And this pyramid, the point of the pyramid, so high beyond the universe and pouring diamond light energy down all sides of the pyramid. And just beginning to feel that energy flowing down like a waterfall Clearing the space. It's a filter type energy. And only the purest beings of love and intent are invited into this space. 
There's also an energy of clarity. So I feel some clarity coming for you as well, in for you as well now. And feeling this cocoon type energy as that diamond energy flows faster and faster. Just creating this lovely vortex around you, this cocoon and sanctuary. And feeling yourself in the center of this pyramid. Cocooned in this sacred space. Knowing you're so held, you're so loved. And imagine sitting cross-legged or with your bottom on the floor, directly on the earth. And just notice what you're sitting on. Is it earth? Is it grass? Is it sand? Are you feeling the water beneath you? Just taking a moment. To settle into those earth energies. And feeling your bottom and feeling your yoni, your sacred feminine. Really connecting with the earth. beginning to feel the stirrings of the earth beneath you. And feeling your yoni as you're receiving the portal as your gateway. And you might begin to feel some tingling Allowing your yoni to connect with the energies of the earth, the stirrings of the earth, mm -hmm. the new beginnings. Mm -hmm. And as with all conception, conceiving of all things, until you see it physically, there is so much going on behind the scenes. And just feeling all that's been going on behind the scenes, if you like, within the soil of the earth. And allowing yourself to feel this in your yoni, in your root chakra. And opening up your root chakra. To feel and open and turn your root chakra, opening and turning and feeling more and more connected to Mother Earth. The more your root chakra is open and balanced, the safer you feel, the more connected you feel, and the easier it is to manifest and see in the physical what you wish for in your heart. So Mother Earth offering that stirrings, those new beginning energies. And if your yoni needed reminding what that felt like to open to new beginning new possibilities, allowing yourself to receive this now, this pure energy of life, life force, just gently vibrating, moving, opening and turning. And as you begin more to be more comfortable with this, just feel your cervix receiving, opening, or not opening, but just feeling the vibrations. 
not physically opening, opening to receive the energy. And staring up and just allowing that energy now in your cervix, your, your gateway, your guard if you like, feeling the pure love of the earth and saying yes, allowing yourself to receive those earth energies now into your womb. And as you feel that, imagining your womb blossom, blossoming like the most beautiful garden or meadow or forest where all those seeds of love creation that you've been planting known or unknown just allowing your womb to feel allowing yourself to feel what it feels like to flourish within your wombs and noticing all the flowers the colors no trying, just allowing this information to come into your mind, into your knowing. How does your womb wish to blossom? How does your womb wish to feel? How does the home of your womb if you are in conception, how do you wish your home to be, this womb home for your baby? Beginning to feel the frequency, the vibration of your womb now as it blossoms into life. Those stirrings of new beginnings opening up into your womb and just feeling your womb receiving an opening in joy and allowing this feeling, feeling grounded, feeling even more connected to your chair, to where you're sitting as you imagine your direct connection with the earth. and the stirrings of life. And as you bring your awareness to this beautiful sacred cocoon space, again noticing the environment you're in, how do you wish to feel? And what environment allows that to be? Do you wish to feel the energy of the mountains, the energy of the sea or a lake, the energy of the trees, or all of the above? First of all, asking your heart, how do you wish to feel? And as your heart lets you know how it wishes to feel your heart in joy that it's you've noticed it you've asked it and as your heart responds and opens noticing that space all around you being filled with all the elements that create joy in your heart. As you create from your inner world, your outer world reflects and responds to that. So as well as the environment of your womb, you've got the environment around you. And just notice how that feels to be in this frequency. you're in that lovely space calling on all your guides and angels to 
to be with you, to work with you for your healing and clarity and your highest and best good. And as you sit in this frequency, in this sanctuary that you have created for yourself, You just start to notice out in front of you, just on the other side of that diamond-like waterfall, beginning to notice the shadow of a being. And you know this is Goddess Bridget. And you can see the vague outline of the fire in her hands. And breathe and begin to feel her energy coming closer as she now steps through that diamond light and into the space right in front of you wearing beautiful emerald green with fiery red hair or however you're seeing her is right for you and cupped in her palms of her hands is a glowing fire and she steps closer to you and kneels down in front of you As she's kneeling with her hands, her palms outstretched with the fire in her hands, first of all imagine connecting eye to eye and looking into the eyes of Goddess Bridget. And notice what you see in her eyes. And her eyes are drawing up emotions. Allow those emotions to bubble up if they need to. Feel her gaze of love and her clarity. She sees you, she sees you. Notice how you feel being seen, all of you. And her eyes become beautiful deep pools of reflection. And gazing into her eyes, allow yourself to see the reflection of your true self in her eyes. How she sees you, begin to see yourself. And if you have a question, asking Goddess Bridget anything you wish, anything that's coming from the heart, asking this question now and allowing anything, any information, whether that's feelings, colours, objects, thoughts, or just peace and silence, knowing clarity will come at some point, there's no trying, just resting in this space with her and asking your question.
And if your mind is scrambling, trying to find a question or trying to find an answer, just breathe. It's okay. Relax. It will come at some point or another. And what Goddess Bridget has asked me to do is to love, which means opening my heart field. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just feeling this energy of love. Just opening up my energy for you all to receive as well. Feeling the frequency, the transmission, and breathe. Oh, you're so precious. And your eyes now drawn to the fire, the flames in the palms, Bridget's palms, and your gaze is drawn to those flames, and like a crystal ball, you may begin to see an image or a form, What is the fire energy showing you? Is it a vision? Um, Goddess Bridget is saying, you don't need me, you just need yourself. You just need yourself. To gaze into the flames and see or feel your own visions. Okay, so Goddess Bridget bringing that fire energy to her heart now and her heart opening and infusing these flames with unconditional love, with healing. And if you are open to receive, feeling this fire energy, receiving it into your navel, to stoke your own fire, your own life energy, your own life force. So feeling this purifying, enlivening fire, divine fire of unconditional love into your navel and just feel it opening and burning in there, not burning hot, just fizzling, clearing, cleansing that space. And imagine anything releasing that needs to be released. And this is your connection point to unity. Feeling all of those connections come online in your own time, in your own way. And then this fire energy dropping into your womb space and feeling it lighting up, warming, bringing warmth 
bringing love, bringing healing to your room, to your space, the environment, amplifying the frequency that you have created, amplifying the feeling in your room, the space around you, your own field of energy. And Bridget now with her hands empty, claps her hands. And as she does so, the fire turning into blue butterflies. Blue butterflies of transformation. And these butterflies flying and fluttering around your womb space. Any areas that have felt pain or hurt any areas where you're holding on to grief or loss, any areas that are not yours, that are ancestral, anything that's been passed down, your maternal lines, allowing these butterflies to fly freely and as they flutter their wings, just shifting the energy you may know the story or not know the story, just having the intention of clearing your space, anything that is ready to be transformed. The wings of these butterflies. Butterflies from God, the divine, Goddess Bridget. Their wings, just feeling the wings when they flutter, how the energy changes within your womb. And when you're ready, these butterflies flying up into your heart. And more and more butterflies bringing lightness, bringing transformation. Opening your heart, up into your throat, opening your throat. Up into your ears, your head, your mind. Your hands, your arms your legs and feet just feeling alive with this gentle fluttering of wings, so gentle, but transforming the energy. Imagine hearing the sound of a butterfly's wings, what would that sound like? Listen to the sound of the butterfly wings within you. And noticing the aliveness in your body, the transformation in your cells. Sweeping away anything, transforming anything into love that you're ready to allow. and thanking these butterflies. And all those butterflies now in your third eye, in your forehead, opening your thought forehead, opening your third eye. And as they fly out of your third eye, just feeling your third eye, your vision, your clarity, it's just opening your third eye even more as they carry away anything that's ready to be carried away. Feeling your third eye opening, feeling the energy leaving your body, leaving your third eye. All that mind clutter, old thought patterns, fears leaving your mind and the butterflies carrying it all away as your mind becomes clearer and clearer and clearer. And you and Goddess Bridget watching those butterflies fly free now. Fly through the diamond light energy. Out of the pyramids, free to be, free to fly. With their message that so are you. Free to be and free to fly. 
and breathe, coming back into this space, placing one hand on your heart and one hand on your womb, and any flourishing, any new beginnings from your womb, feeling that energy expanding up into your heart. Expanding your heart, any desires of your heart, how it wishes to feel, feel that energy expanding down to your womb and your heart and womb connecting in joy, in love, in remembrance of each other, in remembrance of you. your essence. I'm beginning to relax now, the energy relaxing and easing, Goddess Bridget taking your hands as she rises up from her knees and gently drawing you up to standing, your hands in her hands. And she embraces you now and you embrace her. And as you do, you know you are embracing stirrings of life, new beginnings, new possibilities, and new earth. Feeling your heart beating with hers. As you embrace one side and then the other. As she now kisses you on the forehead, a blessing for clarity. Kisses each at the center of the palms of your hands to further open, reassure and heal your heart. Placing our hands on your hips the blessings of the mother, the mother energy, whether you are a mother or not a mother, you are a mother, you hold this energy, divine energy, feeling this in your hips and your hips opening, your lower back relaxing, more room for any babies in the room, more room for you to expand and flourish and Goddess Bridget taking your hands again kissing the tops of, her, of your hands and you now kissing the tops of Goddess Bridget's hands in gratitude in honour and thanking her for being with you And as she takes her steps back out of the diamond light, out of the pyramid, feeling yourself relaxing, notice how your body's feeling. Squeezing your thumb and forefinger together, remembering the energy of your womb, the feelings of your womb, the feelings of the environment and frequency you've created around you from your heart's desire of how it wishes to feel, not what it wants, how it wishes to feel, and all else comes from this. And any time you wish to be back in this frequency, in this memory, just squeezing your thumb and forefinger together, and if there was a word that would help bring you back into this frequency, what word would that be? What word describes this place, this, this feeling? Allow that to come. Beautiful. 
this one when you're ready releasing your thumb and forefinger just relaxing your hands rubbing the palms of your hands together placing them over your eyes and just feeling into the comforting darkness and when you're ready, having a little roll of the shoulders and coming back into the room you're in. And slowly, slowly. Coming to Absolutely gorgeous. Take a moment and if you wish to share how you feel, how that went, please do. If you're asleep, have a beautiful rest. If you just want to hop off and be in your own space, be free, be free, be you. Okay, I'm just going to hang on for a few more moments in case anyone does want to share, if anyone has any questions. But no, I am sending you all so much love. Beautiful Emma, I'm so pleased to see your name pop up. I hope all is well. Okay. So, please do share. As I said, I'm just hanging on for a few moments in case, just checking that you're all okay. Maybe as I'm waiting, I'll just do a little, uh, see what Rosa has to share with us. anyone who has got my book the message that has come through is on page 91 um, and the words I'm drawn to so please we ask you to acknowledge these brave spirit spirits who are willing to come to spread life with you and add their flavor to the world no matter for how long this may be to acknowledge those spirits who choose to enable this moment of creation to happen to create the energy of life in whichever way that may be. For whatever you may think and feel about life, it is indeed life you have chosen, and it is indeed life these baby spirits are seeking. It is then up to you which picture of life you choose to present to them. Okay, so beautiful. Uh, we've just been all about life force energy this evening, so I love, of course, I always use this book as an oracle, like a card deck and turn to the page and Rosa always has the most amazing message. Spreading life, life force energy, moment of creation, creating the energy of life in whichever way that may be. Thank you, Rosa. Okay, my darlings, so if you're all okay. Uh, Aparna, thank you, beautiful space to be in. I had a call a call for warmth and ease yes beautiful warmth and ease and it does is this warmth this comfort no more trying or pushing what was the mantra I said at the beginning I don't chase I attract all the good that belongs to me finds me with ease now yes okay Elizabeth so gorgeous glad you enjoyed it Vaz you're at work <laughs> okay so re-listen yeah I'm glad just picking up that transmission of energy just being in this space is beautiful okay so really gorgeous please do uh, share away ask away I'm gonna hop off now um, but if you do I will be checking any of the messages anyway uh, so grateful for you all 
Um, yes. Lots and lots of love. Mwah. See you soon.